What's up guys, we're back. We're looking at some more NBA player props in today's video. This video applies for everywhere, no matter where you guys are playing your player props today. Prize picks, sleeper, a sports book, does not matter. I got you guys covered with some NBA player props today. We're gonna hop straight in and hopefully get some winners today. But before we do so, make sure you guys check out the Dub Club because I'm offering my biggest discount I've probably ever offered. I'm starting a new promo today. It's gonna be $5 Friday. So pretty much, this is the first time it's only gonna be offered for a month. You guys are getting pretty much 75% off of my monthly package, as you guys can see right here. You guys get access to all my plays. Every play that I make gets set straight to your phone for only five bucks for your first month. This is the only time I'm offering it because future Fridays, I plan on doing this only $5 for two weeks. So this time, you guys can get in $5 for an entire month. Make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Link is down in the description below. It's only for today. I probably will never offer this ever again. So you guys may as well check it out right now. My prize picks left to met winnings though over $5,700 as you guys can see right there. But if you don't know how Dub Club works, it sends all my plays straight to your phone through the Dub Club app, email, telegram, or discord. I assume it plays out to over 2.4 thousand subscribers and for a bunch of different sports, including the NBA, NHL, MLB, and the NFL. MLB right around the corner, less than a month away. I'm super excited about that, man, because MLB, we kill it every single season. So I'm really excited about that coming back there. But make sure you guys get in the dub club right now because we've been uh, having some pretty good days here. And like I said earlier, I mean, it's $5 Friday. You guys can get in right now, 75% off of your first month. So really big off right there. Link is down in the description below for that. Also, make sure you guys join the free Discord, get some free plays sent to you. You guys can get some more uh, free plays there for completely free. Just use the link down in the description below to join the Discord, and you guys can get some more free plays. All of my plays today, by the way, will be available over on Chalkboard. You guys can join right now with promo code DMD to get your first deposit matched up to $100. Absolutely love this app. They have so many different player prop options. You guys can see all the categories right here. They offer some random stuff here, too, like free throw makes, field goal makes, turnovers, first basket, rebound, and assist. And there's also alt lines here. So you get some like move Donovan Mitchell's line here down to 23 and a half points down from like 26 and a half points, or you can move it up to 29.5. So a lot of different options on chalkboard. You guys can join right now. Link is down in the description below. Use promo code DMG. That will get your first deposit matched up to $100. But now let's finally get to these free plays. Just play responsibly and at your own risk and subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it. Have those post notifications turned on so you guys do not miss future uploads. Player prop number one that I like is going to be Zion Williamson over 28 and a half Points plus assist. Let's look at why I like this player prop today over on props.cash. So over on props.cash is the research tool that I use personally. But you can see right here that he's over in 47% of games so far this season. So 47%. He's been pretty good as of late though. Look at like the last the last 15. He's over in eight of his last 15. So pretty decent hit rate right there. But look at his last 10 games here. I want to look at his last 10 games specifically and look at his minutes. He's had 30 plus minutes in eight of his last nine games. The only game where he did not have 30 plus minutes was here against New York with 29.4 minutes. So I'm expecting 30 plus minutes today from Zion, of course. And in games where he sees those 30 plus minutes, he's over in 69% of games so far this year. So already a huge increase right there when he sees the minutes that he's been seeing as of late. So if you take a look at also games where he's playing at home, goes up to 77%. In games with one day of rest, goes up to 83%. So already some very, very nice splits here. If for whatever reason you guys want to see how he's been on a Friday before, he's been and uh, somewhat decent on Fridays, over six out of nine games on Friday with those 30 plus minutes. But I also like how he's kind of been aggressive as of late too. He's been uh, pr he's been shooting quite a bit. There's been a lot of games where he's had 20 plus field goal attempts, but there have been some down games against like Chicago and Memphis where he's had 13 and 15. But when you're in a fast paced matchup here against the Pacers, I think he, there's a good chance he could have those 20 plus field goal attempts here, which he did have last time against Indy. He's played them one time this year. He had 32 minutes against them on 20 field goal attempts. He shot 10 for 20, which is a little bit worse than what he's usually shooting. He's usually shooting about 58% and that game he shot about 50%. And he missed his line here by only two points plus assists. He only had four assists in that game. I'm expecting about five this time around. I'm also expecting him to shoot a little bit better than 50% here, but I really like this matchup here against the Pacers. I think this is a time where he can actually go over. This season, the Pacers, they allow the most points per game to opposing power forwards right there. Assists are not anything super, super crazy. I mean, they allow uh, 4.37 per game. Uh, in the last seven games here, though, if you take a look at the uh, Pacers here, they've been a little bit better, allowing 26.15, but still, they're like a top 15 matchup there. Um, when it comes to the assists, though, they've actually been allowing more assists per game here. Um, the third most assists per game to opposing power forwards so far this season. So I love the spot here for Zion today. I think he goes over his 28 and a half points plus assists. I like how he's been shooting lately. I like the field goal attempts. I love the high pace matchup here against the Pacers. I think this time around, he will go over his 28 and a half points plus assists. Moving on now, though, to player prop number two. I like today DeMar DeRozan over 27 and a half points plus assist. Let's take a look at why here. So DeMar DeRozan here on props.cash. Let's look at this here. He's over in 51% of games. He's been very, very good as of late, though, over in nine of his last 10 games. But that's not why I like this player prop today. 
I kind of want to focus on his minutes a little bit here too. He's seen 35, he's seen 35 plus minutes in all of his last 10 games. And the game where he missed was when he saw his lowest amount of minutes there. Otherwise, he's seen a lot of games here with 40 plus minutes, which I think he could see today. He saw it last time against Milwaukee, but in games with 35 plus minutes, he has been over this in 61% of games so far this year. But a lot of those games earlier this year were with Zach Levine. Zach Levine is out for the season and with 35 plus minutes and no Zach Levine, he's over in 69% of games. So already a very, very nice hit right there. How about at home though? He's over in 69% of games at home. Same hit right there with one day of rest. It goes up to 71% and he's facing Milwaukee today. There's a solid chance that they will lose and in games where they lose, he's over in 73%. So there's a little bit of boost there too. He just gets a little bit more aggressive when uh, they are in losses. But the main reason why I like this so much is going to be the matchup against Milwaukee. I don't understand why this line is as low as it is. Last time he had 52 against Milwaukee, he absolutely demolished them. I think Milwaukee will try to slow him down a little bit this time, but he's just so good. He's also got a pretty solid history against Milwaukee as well. He did have 18 earlier this year against Milwaukee, but if you take a look at it, he shot 3 for 14 against them and 3 for 12 against them in those last two games that he missed. Uh, otherwise, before that, he had 44 and 47 against this team. By the way, all four of those games there were with Zach Levine too. Uh, the only game without Zach Levine, he dropped 52 on them. So I think this matchup is really, really good for DeMar DeRozan and his mid-rangers. Milwaukee kind of struggles a little bit against that, and I think DeMar DeRozan will be able to kind of uh, you know, lay it on him today. So yeah, really simple breakdown right there for DeMar DeRozan. He's great when he sees the minutes. He's great without Zach Levine. And uh, he sees a little bit of a boost when it comes to being in losses and with one day of rest. And this matchup is just so good that I really love this player prop there, uh, especially because of that matchup there. So that is why I like DeMar DeRozan over 27 and a half points plus assists today. But uh, that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys join the dub club, though, because like I said, it's $5 Friday, man. You guys can get in right now. 75% off with the link down in the description below. Go ahead and get in for only $5 for your first month. Only time I'm going to offer this because in future $5 Fridays, it's going to be for a two week package, not the one month package that's being offered right now. So make sure you guys go ahead and check it out for yourself. But uh, with that being said, thank you. I really do appreciate you guys for watching these videos and sticking around with me and uh, join the dub club, all that good stuff. But uh, also, if you guys want to see an amazing player prop research tool, make sure you guys check out the daily grind tools. This right here is the optimized. You guys can get it in the fancy bundle. It finds the best expected value plays for all these apps that you guys can see up here. With this tool, you have to do is click one button. The refresh button. When you press the refresh button, it pulls up the best suspected value plays on all of these different player prop sites. So right now there's some League of Legends value as well as some NBA value right there under fantasy score right there for Derek White. So uh, it's a really awesome tool. I've been using it for quite a while now. I think over a year and a half probably I've been using this tool. Uh, so if you guys want to get it for yourself, link is down in the description below. Make sure you guys use that promo code DUMG. That will get you 25% off your first month. And you guys see right there what's included. All three tools there. I only showed you guys the one, but there's also two other tools included right there. So get it for yourself right now. Link is down in the description below. Make sure you guys go and check that out. They also have the correlation tool, which is sold separately, which is amazing. It's up 846 units, which is absolutely insane. So it finds correlated entries for like, you know, NHL or CSGO. And they also have plus EV slips as well. So this is a free entry right here. If you guys want to lock it in, if that's something you guys are interested in, uh, you know, plus EV slip right here. You guys can see right there that uh, that's what, one of the entries that they like today over on prize picks. So uh, this is pretty much going to do it though. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one. Also see you guys in the dub club with that uh, little promo I got going on today. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys hopefully tomorrow. Peace out and best of luck tonight.